The national chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Prince Uche Sekondus, yesterday painted a gloomy picture of Nigeria, stating that the country had gone into autopilot with nobody in control. He said the insecurities have pervaded the country and that the economy has collapsed, with inflation and un unemployment spiking to the highest point ever in the country. Sekondu spoke to a select group of reporters, where he also assured the female members of the party that in constituting the federal cabinet, gender parity would be utmost should the party win the 2023 general election. According to the PDP chair, Nigeria is in an autopilot and deserves rescue from all well-meaning Nigerians, especially the women that constitute over 60% of the voting population. Further lamenting the growing insecurity in the country, Sekondu said, it has gone so bad that schools are now closed in some parts of the northern states due to kidnapping and banditry. He also lamented the near collapse of the economy, stating that almost all manufacturing companies in Nigeria had relocated to Ghana or neighboring West African countries due to the collapse of infrastructure and high cost of production. Today in Nigeria, inflation is about 17.4%. Official rates and the level of unemployment is about 33%, mostly among the youth. Nothing seems to be working. The country is in an autopilot, the PDP national chairman lamented. He therefore charged the PDP women and women in the general to rise and rescue the country as everything was in perilous state. Secondus urged women in Nigeria to rescue the nation from the grips of corruption and injustice pervading the land, saying you should emulate women nationalists like Fumilayo, Ransom Kuti, and recently Dr. Ngozi Ukojo Iwela. Pledging gender parity, in constituting a new cabinet, he said, if PDP forms government in 2023, the cabinet would be 50-50 based on competence. It is known fact that whenever and wherever you find women in government, there will be no corruption. According to him, the 35% is already taken, but we believe that we must drive it to logical conclusion. We're also setting new guidelines that will give youth and women free form and give them some form of preference. We believe that if PDP forms government in 2023, it will be 50-50 between men and women because women have what it needed to national development, he said. Speaking, the chairperson of the PDP Women Action Committee, Senator Biodun Ulujumi, described the committee as another agenda setting for other political parties to emulate and should be seen as a challenge factor to all women on national development issues. Women are central to democracy. It will give women a sense of belonging and ensure justice and equity in the affairs of the party and national development. She also noted that it is the right to say women are an integral part of any strong and forward-looking party, such as PDP. In fact, the participation of women in the social, political, and cultural affairs is not just a goal, but central to sustainability of the democratic process. Statistics tells us that engaging women in leadership processes increases the gross domestic product of our nation. Empowering women is a very smart political move that political parties will greatly benefit from. And the process starts from arrangements such as this lobby group being inaugurated today. Uche Secondus, all they are doing right now, they are just um, preparing the ground for 2023. And um, they are trying to sensitize uh, everyone that um, if um, they eventually take over in 2023, it will be a 50-50 uh, <laughs> Uh, a 50 50 percent that's between men and women if we look across the country right now uh, we don't have any lady as a governor they are all men and uche secondus is saying that uh, i don't know if this is true but guys let us know that uh, it, when women are in leadership that corruption is hard you hardly find corruption where women are in leadership that would be a good one if they are ready to um allow women take take the front seats um take position and um, begin to lead we know in other in other parts of the world women there are women leaders women are in 
in places, in positions, not just as um, senators, but uh, we're talking about them um, like governing different states. We'll see changes. And he also is also pledging right now that um, the youth as well as women will be given an opportunity. All of these, hope these are not like campaign promises again, because we don't know if we can trust all of these political parties. But um, the major thing, aside PDP thinking about uh, um, um, taking over from APC, the ruling party in 2023, there's a very important issue, very, very important. That is the insecurity issues. He talked about it right now. And as a matter of fact, he, the only comparison he could use for the country right now is that the country is on autopilot that is it's a big shame and uh, it's uh, really sad a country that there is a precedent is not like the president is there is a precedent that we can see muhammad buhari it gives people the uh i think that is what is even making people um, begin to think on that part that um, is that really president muhammad buhari you know about the jubrim al sedan those talks those um speculations that have been going on that time uh, the person in Aso Rock is not um, President Mohammed Buhari. Right now, with all the happenings in the country, one begins to ponder that could it really be true? All those things could they be true that that is not President Mohammed Buhari? Because I cannot understand someone who campaigns seriously, passionately that I want to lead this country. Now you are already in position of leadership. Then you decide to put the country in a state of autopilot. The the, the country is just is just um, flying itself autopilot there's no one running the affairs no one controlling things the other day it was primate ayodele elijah who um stated that um uh buhari is incapacitated there is no one in control no one the other people that are ruling the controlling the country buhari is not in charge and you can imagine if other persons are, are taking control of the affairs they will just be staring into the direction they desire wherever they want. So I believe above all that um, PDPs and these other parties, the other opposition parties, or above all that they're looking for to take over power, they should also consider this insecurity issue. If it's not dealt with, you know, it's as a result of this insecurity issue that all of these agitations have been rising again recently. The Odudua Republic and the, um, even the Biafra is as a result of this insecurity Recently, we heard Sunday go stating that uh, we are not part of Nigeria again. Let UN come and separate us. Let us go our own way. Enough is enough. All of these things. So come 2023, if Nigeria is still there, uh, it, it should be their major focus anyway. That is the way I see it because all of these parties now, they are all talking about how they will take over 2023. But um, the major thing that is in our face right now is uh, um, the, the nation is collapsing. It's at the verge of collapsing. Anyway, guys, let's hear your take down below in the comment section. Thank you once again for staying tuned. Please don't forget to like, share, and to subscribe. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye.